what's your take on Darwin's original species? Evolution is a fundamental process. Evolution happens everywhere with everything. There are various criteria that determine what's profitable in any evolutionary system. We talked about in consciousness, it's, it's lower in entropy. In, in the physical reality among critters, it's, it's procreation and survival. You know, that's the survival of the fittest sort of thing. You have to procreate and survive, otherwise your genes don't get passed on and you, you don't uh, become part of the future. So evolution is fundamental in the sense that, um, you know, economic systems evolve, governments evolve, everything evolves. Everything that is large, complex changes and is self-modifying. Well, governments are self-modifying. You know, they evolve. So evolution is just a natural thing. So sure, this evolved. You started with the big digital bang, remember? And that, that ran the simulation, and the simulation got to a place like Earth, and Earth got to a place where amino acids could come together and make a cell, and then the cells evolved and so on. So that's, you know, that's part of the rule set. The rule set says all that was probable to happen, so it does. And in order for the critters to, to uh, move on, they have to survive, they have to procreate, because that's according to the rule set, you know, what makes them you know, viable. So yes, all of that is, is the case. I think Darwin has a very good, you know, very good theory there. That's the way things do work. And survival of the fittest basically says that uh, you know, it's not a, you know, everybody doesn't have to kill everybody else that disagrees with them. That's not survival of the fittest. It's basically procreation. You have to forward your genes and you have to survive in order to do that. So that's, the, uh, that's just the criteria upon which physical evolution is based. If you can do those two things, then you evolve. If you can't do those two things, you don't evolve. You eventually become extinct. So. Could, could it be to the um, memory or database of information within genes? And I've heard one theory that that is the purpose of viruses in, in meteors and viruses on the Earth, Earth planes leave um, hereditary Information data streams. Well, some of our some of our information, you know, we are information, and some some of the information in our physical reality is embedded. You know, it's not all it's not all uh, data in the consciousness. Some of our information is genetic. That's true. You know, and that that uh, defines our our physical systems. But that genetic information is more flexible than most of us think. The idea that uh, you would get from Darwin is that you know in, in a million years or so you could change your species, but individuals change their genetics daily, monthly. You can change your genetic makeup because mind leads, body follows. You change your brain, you can change your genetic makeup within limits. You know you're probably not going to grow a second head. You're not going to change it that much, but you will change your genetic makeups slightly and that will then get passed on to your future generations to come through you but yeah we do change um, you know we talk about memory you know all our memory is not is not this some of our memory is cellular and genetic yes so, so we could adapt to be different anatomically and in terms of chakra that the energies could be um, could increase yeah we get, we're very adaptable Certainly, we're very we're very adaptable. That's you know that's how the uh, you know that's how profitability gets gets measured in evolution. There has to be some scale of profitability, and if you can adapt and you change, and again, it's done individually. It doesn't have to be done over a million years. It's done with each individual, and those changes are kind of happenstance and random here and there. But eventually, if it's survival, you know, if it increases your your uh, your physical survival, according to the rule set, then that goes on, and the stuff that doesn't doesn't. You have to see it as a you know this is a virtual reality, and it's marching forward by a rule set. So you're basically working out all the permutations and combinations and possibilities of the rule set, and some of those are more viable than others, and that's what we call evolution. Is the end goal um, to reach centropy and equilibrium, or in terms of maths? reach this logarithmic one. Yeah. I, don't know that, I don't know that there is an end goal. I think it's just a system that, that 
continues on. It doesn't necessarily have, a, have an end goal. It just, uh, you know, it is what it is. It changes, it grows, it has choices. It makes those choices. It uh, fills out the probabilities, the ones that work go on, the ones that don't die, and it's an open-ended system. It, this reality, you know, and the way this reality chugs along according to the rule sets, an open-ended an open ended system. And based on the decisions that get made, depending on, you know, whether a volcano erupts and, you know, shields the sun for a year or whatever things happen, then we adjust, everything changes, the criteria change, and we deal with it and go on. So it's, I think it's an open ended system. I don't really think there's a point that we're supposed to end up at at a certain time. But we're all headed toward whatever the criteria are that define evolution. And sometimes in the physical, with the, with the rule set, those criteria change. You know, like the meteor strikes, you know, the dust goes up, there's no sunshine for a decade. Well, suddenly the rule set changed down here on what the criteria were. You know, now, now being big and powerful and able to eat everything else doesn't help because all the plants die and, and uh, everything else dies. So, you know, so dinosaurs were really very survivable in their day and then their day passed. They were no longer survivable because the, the criteria for survival changed. They got caught.